All right, in this video, we'll be looking at crustacean classes. And so we're going to look at how many different classes, six different classes of crustaceans, looking at um, some of their unique features and going forward. So the first class are called Remipedia. Uh, this is a very small class, only 10 species. You can see here from their ancestral features, they have 25 to 38 trunk segments all with Byramus swimming appendages. So very, very um, similar types of appendages and lots of them. And so this is uh, reminiscent of a very primitive um, arthropod. Uh, prehensile maxillopeds, which means that they, uh, prehensile means that they're able to bend them or grab things with them and they use these for feeding. And so just note the, I mean, if you take an annelid, a segmented worm, um, and especially some of the annelids that we talked about that were highly specialized and, and almost had a carapace of them of their cell. You can see the link between these two things. So Cephalocarida is another one that we'll look at. Very small, nine species of Cephalocarida. As you can probably guess from this picture, these are very small in themselves. They're only two to three millimeters in length. Uh, they live in settlements along the coast, and so they kind of uh, live in the coastal waters. No eyes. You can see a very clear carapace there over the top of their head, head eyeless head. Um, they um, have abdominal, they don't have any abdominal appendages as well. And I said carapace, but this is just a segment. They don't have a true carapace in that they don't have, see these segments here? These are what we would typically call cephalothorax, so I misspoke. Uh, they don't have a true carapace that, that covers all of these segments, whereas they just have the normal segments there that are covered. Next are called branchiopoda, which means long foot. Um, these are brine shrimp and water fleas. Another common name for brine shrimp are sea monkeys. There are 10,000 species of branchiopoda. Uh, flattened leaf-like legs, which serve as respiratory organs. So that should make sense, right? Lung, foot. Um, they use their legs for suspension feeding. And remember, suspension feeding is pulling food out of the water column, things like plankton and that sort of thing. Uh, mostly freshwater. These form a large portion of what is known as zooplankton. And so what they're eating is the little plants or even smaller animals than them. And then they are also forming the very bottom of the food chain, which supports the larger forms of life, like fish and even larger things than that. Ostracoda, that was a horrible pronunciation. Ostracoda are these. Uh, these are called muscle shrimp. You can see that because they, they have like that bivalve structure, but they're not a bivalve. They're a shrimp. There are like 6,000 species of ostracoda. They have a fusion of their trunk segments, so their thorax and their abdomen have been fused. And they, you see that bivalve carapace there, making them resemble clams. Maxillopoda. These are 10,000 species of maxillopoda. These include barnacles and many others. Very specific number of segments per species. Uh, most of them feed with those structure called maxilla. Um, And this is, they're, they're very different than other arthropods that we've talked about. They kind of form their own monophyletic group. And if you remember monophyletic group, it's like this whole kind of thing that's off to itself that would be its own um, classification unit. So a lot different than the other things that we've looked at. And then Malacca straca, uh, this is probably a good, nice word of the day. Uh, 20,000 species, very diverse group. These are going to be like what you think of when you think of... Um, when you think of crustaceans, there's going to be two groups that we're going to look at in, in Malacostraca. Um, all the segments that they ha have appendages on them, and there's going to be two orders. The first order that we'll look at are called isopods. Uh, no carapace. They have a flattened body, and they usually have non-prehensile appendages, meaning that their appendages are only going to be used for moving and not like grabbing things. Um, uh, this is where you get like roly polies. That's a terrestrial group of crustaceans. And of course, the isopods that you see on those. You won't believe what this fisherman caught clickbait. And it's like the thing you see there. All right. And then decapods. Uh, decapods means 10 feet. I'm not sure why they're called that, though. My guess is that they have 10 feet. 
Um, but this is like shrimps, crabs, lobsters, crayfish. When you think of a crustacean, these are probably what you're thinking of. Uh, all thoracic segments are fused, and they're covered by a very clear carapace. You see that very clearly on that lobster on the left. On the lobster on the right, the carapace has been cut in half for easy access to the succulent flesh within. Their eyes are located on stalks, and so that's why they have such a strange look to them. Um, their first three thoracic appendages are called maxillopeds, and they will use these to eat in very clear appendages, very clear structure to these. And so these are typically used as the uh, prototypical crustacean, even though they are a much more advanced uh, class.